Hello everyone, it's July 26, 2020, and we're working today on planting our fall garden. So I wanted to make a quick video just to kind of show you some of the things that you can plant in midsummer for a fall garden. A lot of the times we tend to think once we harvest, so yesterday we harvested all these potatoes. We made a video on that. Last week we harvested all this garlic that's drying up nicely in the rafters here of the garage. And you might tend to think, well, once I harvest, you know, that's it for that particular garden bed or container. But really there are a lot of things that you can plant in late July, early August and still get a fall crop. Because remember, we are, where we are is zone five, which is about, uh, where we particularly are is about 40 minutes south of Buffalo in western New York. And so you might not think about it, but really September and October are part of the growing season here, especially September. So it doesn't end on Labor Day. Your garden can really be in full productivity all through September easily and usually around here into late October. So knowing that, some things that you can plant, these are what we're planting today. Um, one of the things you might not think about is cucumbers. So these are two varieties that we really like. One is called Early Fortune, that's this green one. The other one is Miniature White, and this is what they look like. I just picked them the other yesterday from the garden. So they're, they're a great snack. They're both really tasty. They're very fast, too. So if we were to plant these today, which we will at the end of July, you figure they take 50 days or so till they fruit. That gets you into mid-September-ish. You know, and you'll have cucumbers in September, late September, early October. So that's a great crop to grow that you may not think about because once your summer cucumbers, once these kind of die off in late August, mid-August, when they kind of just succumb to mildew and everything around here, the new ones will be coming online. So that's kind of a fun thing. The other thing is any greens. I mean, we've got a whole bunch of different salad greens here. We've got the kind of the mescaline mix. We've got spinach is a great thing to grow because a lot of these things like lettuces and spinach don't like the heat, you know, so they don't really like growing in the summer. The same for broccoli and cauliflower. They'll just end up bolting on you and you won't really get anything from them. Growing cilantro can be a challenge because as soon as it gets hot it just bolts and goes to seed. Well the fall is the perfect time to grow this stuff. Collard greens, bok choy, uh, we got broccoli and cauliflower as I mentioned, some mustard greens, some Swiss chard, some spinach. If you plant it now in late July it'll germinate, start to grow in the heat but then when the plant matures, it'll mature in the cooler part of the summer in late August and then in the early fall, and you'll just get a great abundant harvest. And these plants are very, very happy growing in September weather. You know, for collard greens especially, collard greens, you can get a hard frost on those multiple times and it doesn't even hurt the plant. In fact, if it gets a hard frost, they turn sweet and they're actually a, a lot more tasty and tender. So you want your collard greens to grow. These are the Georgia variety. I think that's my favorite. We've tried many varieties of collards, but um, those just seem to work the best for us. But you let them grow. Right now, they mature in the fall. They get a few hard frosts. You harvest those in October, and they're absolutely perfect. They'll grow right through till January, February, even around here. There'll be snow on the ground, and you can pick collard greens, and they'll still grow until the really, really hard frost hit in February. Um, but we've grown those through the entire winter before in this area. If, you're, if you like kale, you can grow kale in the fall. It's a really good fall crop. But just some ideas. So today, like I said, it's the end of July. It's the last Sunday in July, July 26, 2020. And we'll be planting all of these today and we should have a full garden in the fall and so that's that's just a way to extend your growing season it's a lot easier to plant a fall garden than a spring garden around here because you can do the same thing with these in the spring the trouble is around here it tends to go from winter to hot summer immediately and most of these things don't like heat as i mentioned so the best thing to do is to plant the midsummer and then end up with a nice fall garden you can have an entirely different garden totally different character, to, totally different crops that you can't really grow in the summer other than maybe the Swiss chard and the cucumbers, of course. But you can have a full-on fresh garden in the fall. It's a pretty cool thing when you're September, October and you're still harvesting uh, fresh crops that are you're bringing in for the first time. So thank you for watching. If you're interested in more videos from the garden, please subscribe.